At exactly this time last night, JSO officers were responding to an attempted suicide call at a home over on the west side. But what they did not know was two of their very own would be shot during an ambush style attack. This is the gunman next to me who opened fire on the officers. 25 year old Derek Brabham. JSO says he has no criminal history. So this shooting happened in the 5100 block of Seaboard Avenue. When police entered the home, Brabham immediately started firing at officers with this high powered rifle that we're about to take a look at. That's it right there. Inside the home, three women hiding. The suspect's fiance, her mom, a family friend, and the suspect's 19 month old baby. Two officers were hit during the shootout and Brabham was killed in the exchange. Our Shelby Danielson is in the neighborhood where the shooting happened and has more on the officers involved. Officers were on this property last night. You can see there's a light on inside. They do not want to speak at this time, but last night they were devising a plan to try to respond to the people who called for help inside when they heard gunfire. That's when they knew it was their time to intervene. Well, two officers went up to the front steps and they were almost immediately met with gunfire inside. Now we know those two officers are recovering in the hospital. I just woke up and then next thing you know, all I heard was screaming a little bit and it was like douche, 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 douche. Neighbors up and down Seaboard Avenue on the west side were woken up by screams and gunfire Friday night. I heard like about five or six bullets that were shot in front of us. By the time they looked outside, their streets were lined with police cars. I saw them like carry somebody out that was probably shot. Two officers were carried out of this home, 11 year JSO veteran Michael Fox. This is his second officer involved shooting. He was shot in his hands. You can see the damage to his Glock where he was holding on during gunfire. In five year veteran Kevin Gerald named officer of the month in May 2016. He was shot in the stomach just below his protective vest. Sheriff Mike Williams says they were only four to five feet away from the suspect in that gun battle. The body armor that we wear does not stop this kind of rifle. Uh, there, there's not a lot that's designed that, that you could wear on a daily basis that does stop that. Uh, and these officers know that. Williams said Gerald was in good spirit Saturday morning, but will still require multiple surgeries. He wasn't able to speak with Officer Fox since he was still undergoing surgery at the time. In such close proximity, I mean, it is a, uh, it, it's as real as it gets at that point. So it's, it, you know, I'm just, I'm happy they're still with us and, and I hope for, that they recover. And the home where all of this happened is directly across from this sign, reminding people that there is a neighborhood watch program here. Now, we also spoke tonight to the father of Derek Brabham. He says they're still digesting the news of what happened to their son and looking for more information themselves. They've tried to reach out to their son's fiance, but the last they heard from her was what took place here late last night. We'll continue to follow up on the West Side. Shelby Danielson, First Coast News.